Gynecology and it is my pleasure to welcome you all to the postgraduate induction and orientation program. Before we begin the, uh, before we begin the occasion, I would like to invite Dr. Adhahar, Junior Resident, Department of Orthopedics, to invoke the blessings of the Almighty on this gathering. Peace be upon you. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ بسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي يظلم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم صدق الله العلي العظيم. These are the ayahs recited from the chapter number 96 of the Holy Quran of the verses 1 to 8. In the name of Allah, the compassionate and the most merciful. Read in the name of your Lord, who created, created the man from a clot of congealed blood. And read, and your Lord is the most generous, who taught the knowledge with the pen, taught the man what he did not know. Thank you, Adhikar, for that beautiful recitation. It is my honor to invite Dr. Ratnaka U.P., our esteemed dean, to deliver the welcome address for this gathering. Good morning. Dear Director, my student Institute of Medical Sciences, Sri Aptur Dr. Mohammed Ismail, Chairman of Pranachu Health Science Advisory Council, Dr. Emmy Prabhu, Member of Pranachu Health Science Advisory Council, Medical Superintendent and Professor of Oral <coughs> Health Professor and Head of Department of General Medicine and Chairperson, Postgraduate Curriculum Committee, Dr. Devdas Bhai. Dr. Sanwas Mani Pali, Deputy Medical Superintendent, Chief Administrative Medical Officer, Dr. Rohan Monis. Dear colleagues and my dear postgraduate students, good morning to one and all. On behalf of the management, the staff, the students of Kanakur Institute of Medical Sciences, I extend you all a warm welcome to this induction and orientation program. Our third batch of postgraduate courses at our college. First batch of 27 postgraduate students in specialties of general surgery, general medicine, anesthesiology, OBG, orthopedics, pediatrics, radiotherapy, radiology, respiratory medicine were admitted in the year 2021-22. Second batch of 35 postgraduate students were admitted in the year 22-23. During this year, we were given permission for postgraduate courses in emergency medicine and dermatology. I am very happy to announce in the current year, in addition to 35 postgraduate students, as already mentioned, additional three departments of pathology, ophthalmology, and psychiatry were also permitted to start postgraduate courses. So now we have 44 postgraduate student seats available with us, of which 41 have already been admitted. I heartily welcome all new postgraduate student entrants and congratulate you for securing a PG seat first of all and compliment you for selecting this institution. On behalf of the management and staff, I would also like to express my gratitude for the continuous encouragement of RGVHS under which we work and NMC and its officials for the commencement and enhancement of the postgraduate teaching program in this issue. I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the management, teaching and non-teaching staff of this institution in achieving the requirements for starting the postgraduate courses in the institution. On behalf of Kanakur Institute of Medical Sciences and on my own behalf, I warmly and respectfully welcome in absentia our mentor, Honorable Chairman of Haji, UK Mono, who is the backbone of this institution, a visionary who conceptualized the Furniture Institute of Medical Sciences. We express our gratitude to you, sir, in advance. I extend a warm welcome to our beloved director, Sri Abdul Rahman, 
who is a guiding spirit and an inspiration for each one of us. It is my honor to welcome you, sir. And we are eagerly looking forward for your presidential address. I also extend a warm welcome to Dr. Mohammed Ismail Hetimadi, Chairman, Current Chief Health Sciences Advisory Council. Being becomes of academic activities of this institution. Our Dr. Harish Shetty, Medical Superintendent. <laughs> Dr. Shamas Mani Pali, Deputy Medical Superintendent. <laughs> Dr. Devdas Rai, Professor and Head of the Department of General Medicine and Chairperson PG Curriculum Committee. I also welcome Dr. Rohan Moni, Chief Administrative Medical Officer. I extend a warm welcome. Thank you, sir. On behalf of all, I would like to welcome you to the gathering. It is my honor to invite our esteemed director, Mr. Abdul Rahman, director of Kanchur Institute of Medical Science, to deliver the presidential address to the gathering. I'm sorry. I would like to invite our dignitaries on stage to commence and inaugurate the ceremony by watering the plant. Every mistake of yours 
is going to cost the life of the humanity. And hence, you should see that to your level best, you will not do any mistake because of your omission or a commission. So that being the case, if you are going to treat any patient in any subject, you must have a thorough knowledge of what exactly you are doing. Let us say you are doing a surgery. If you see that you are doing the surgery with such an amount of knowledge and the latest equipments and the methods which should be used, because if you are following the older method, that is already changed for a newer method because of a newer benefits and the profits. So, you have to gain knowledge. To gaining knowledge is an everyday affair. And once you become a doctor, once you become a postgraduate, once you are a master of a subject, it doesn't stop there. You have to keep studying and reading and learning every day. That is why we all have continuous medical education programs and we have a lot of conferences and workshop and so on. So, a medicine or in, in an actual postgraduate, it does not mean that you just got to get a degree and then you can learn later on. No. Your degree comes with the responsibilities. So, all of you should be punctual and also you should start learning and every day if you have a profession, you should read with the so-called subject reading. That is called as case-oriented study. Let us say you have a patient of appendicitis or you have perforation of the ear. That day about that patient you must learn thoroughly so that you know everything about it. After going through the studies, you must go and discuss with your teachers. This is what I have read. Sir, what is your experience? Because after all, experience makes the man perfect. You may be having any amount of a theory knowledge, a practical knowledge is entirely different. As a postgraduate, you will be having both a theory as well as a practical knowledge. And this practical knowledge associated with the theory knowledge is the way in which it will make you a perfect doctor. So, whenever you are reading a theory, there is nothing like theory knowledge. Every theory is put into practice. For example, if you are talking about hexa, decosa tetrahydrate acid, or, or you know, um, what do you call that? Polyunsaturated fatty acids you are talking about, you should know exactly what it does to your body. Is it helpful or not helpful? How it works? So this is how we have to learn knowledge and the most important thing is that you must work on time and you must be responsible for whatever you are doing and if you have any doubts, you must ask your seniors or your staff members. Don't take decision on your own because it can cause the problem for the patient. So, <clears throat> now that you have selected the subject of your choice, because you chose the topic, and you have chosen our college, we are very thankful for you to choosing our institution for doing your postgraduate degree, and we, as the teachers and the staff members, all of us are very keen to teach you as well as learn from you, and teaching and learning is a two-way process. More you start asking questions, more we start learning, and more we start teaching, and more you start learning. So, I wish you all the best, and then start doing the job right from day one. There is no question of relaxation for postgraduates. You will start, day start from the day you started coming to this medical college and to the hospital. So I wish you all the best. God bless you. Sir, for those empowering and enlightening words and for motivating our new batch of postgraduates as they embark on this new journey in their career and life. Our esteemed chairman, Mr. Abdul Rahman, to deliver the presidential address to this gathering. Respected Dean of the Medical Sciences, uh, Dr. Raktakar sir, the member of the advise, uh, Health Sciences Advisory Council, Dr. Uh, Prabhu sir, Medical Superintendent Dr. Harish sir, 
Dr. Devdas Rai sir, the HOD and the chairman of the postgraduate uh, uh, committee. Dr. Shanawa sir, Dr. Rohan and uh, all the faculties, the HODs, faculties, the new uh, postgraduates of uh, 2023 batch. I welcome you all to this uh, uh, induction and orientation day program of 2023. First of all, uh, <coughs> Sir uh, Ismail Sir has already briefed you about uh, what uh, is expected and uh, it is not expectation what an individual should have in him uh, to become a best, better uh, doctor. It doesn't uh, only uh, imply to only for becoming a medical doctor, it applies to everybody. Even any individual who wants to excel in his field, he has to be punctual, he has to be dedicated, he has to be on time. If, I mean, always my father, chairman, he keeps saying, one minute you lost, that one minute will never come back in your life. That is lost forever. I mean, today we are so used to sleep late, we get up late, we, we think tomorrow we can do it, today evening we can do it. What if today evening you pass away? I mean, see, life is uncertain. I mean, uh, as a Muslim, we, I believe, and the, 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 our belief is that, uh, I mean, you cannot guarantee that I will come in the evening and I will talk to you. No. What is the moment today? I have to utilize it. With it however it is, I have to utilize it. So it is the responsibility of every individual to make use of his one minute of his time constructively and productively for the betterment of every individual for himself for his uh, uh, family and for the uh, uh, the society where he will, uh, where he is there because that is the purpose of our being in this uh, world I mean God could have created us as a dogs or a cat or a, uh, any other uh, animal or uh, any bird he has given, created he has given us an opportunity as a human being. So the responsibility is not to come here and enjoy our life and just pass away, fade away in this world. It is, we have to make name, we have to make changes in our, somebody's life and that is the purpose. Whether you are a doctor, whether you are any other professional or not even any professional, even if you are a, a street vendor who is selling some fruits, you have to make difference in any, uh, somebody's life. That is the purpose of our uh, being in this world. I mean, said that, sir, uh, Dr. Dean sir has uh, was explaining that you are the third uh, batch. The first batch was uh, 27 uh, postgraduates uh, were inducted, and uh, the second batch, uh, 35 postgraduates were inducted. And, this uh, uh, and in this third batch, 44 uh, postgraduates uh, uh, are being inducted. Out of that, I think uh, we still have uh, about uh, two. Uh, seats vacant in pathology but rest of the all the seats have been filled so this is not possible this has not been made possible just because of somebody one person's uh, uh, hard work or uh, uh, dedication I mean yes the management have wanted uh, this institution to come up start MBBS start postgraduates and we have plans to start uh, uh, super specialties also but the dedication of our staff, uh, the dedication of our each individual in this institution has given us that uh, the courage and that, uh, that will to go forward and achieve the next, uh, uh, next uh, uh, step, uh, next uh, uh, impossible uh, thing. I mean, uh, if I don't know, many, uh, many of you may not be knowing, I think some of you I think one of our uh, postgraduate uh, from ophthalmology is Zaki. I think uh, where is he? Yeah, he is uh, there. He uh, from 2016 batch. So because he might be knowing, uh, uh, many, uh, on many occasions we have been uh, informing uh, like how the journey of this institution. Many of you, all the other uh, uh, who are present here, may not be knowing the journey of this institution, which all started in 2000 with uh, just three uh, students and, uh, uh, sorry, five students and three teachers with, uh, uh, with an LKG, it started. And today, in 2023, this institution 
has got from KG to PG, not just in uh, uh, general uh, education, in health education, which is an achievement, uh, which is a dream come true for everybody. But this is not, this is made possible because of the hard work of everybody who has worked in this institution, everybody who is working day and night to make sure that tomorrow we achieve something better. So that is the responsibility now as you postgraduates also. It, it is not just the responsibility of the management or your uh, guides or your department to make everything make, make possible. You have to make some difference in your department so that tomorrow the next person who is coming to your department comes and learns something more than what you have learned. So we have to create, we have to make platforms for people to come, learn, gain knowledge and make difference to this uh, uh, society. So that is all what we expect and excel of course, we all have to excel, the institution has to excel, so do you. You have to excel tomorrow, when you go, when you uh, uh, go to some higher positions, you will always be remembered that you are a postgraduate from this institution. It is a pride for us. It, is a, it will be a pride for your teachers who have taught you. So I congratulate all of you for having selected our institution and wish you all the best for your future three years of your time in this institution. Make the best use of all the, your teachers. They are one of the best in this uh, region and uh, they are the most experienced and I have not uh, uh, just uh, started the PG courses just because I wanted uh, more number of uh, seats because more number of revenue. I have selected very few. In fact, uh, we have uh, the permissions for about 15 medi uh, 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 medicine seats or 15 surgery seats, 9 P uh, dermatology seats. Every every department has the potential that I can uh, I can go for at least about uh, 10 seats, but I didn't want that. In the first, I wanted quality. I wanted quality so that this, the PG is going out from our institution, even though the cases are less here. I want them to learn hands-on and tomorrow they can go, when they go out of this institution, they should not say that I don't know how to do an incision. I don't know how to uh, give a medicine. I don't know how to treat this patient. I don't want that. This is advice to my uh, all the teachers also make them so confident, so uh, independent that tomorrow they should not be uh, not they should not go out and uh, again start learning what a simple procedures are. So this is what I request all my uh, teachers and the faculties, and I also request all the uh, students, uh, the postgraduates, to make the best use of the whatever the opportunity you get, whether it is the opportunity you're getting while going to the camps, you get to learn over there, interact with the patient, get them, treat them here, make difference in their life and <coughs> learn from them and learn from them and be a better doctor. With this, I wish you all the best and uh, uh, good luck for your future. Thank you, Jai Hind. For those inspiring and motivating words, I would like to invite Dr. Likhit Rai Head of Department, General Surgery, to deliver the vote of thanks to the gathering. Very good morning, one and all. So, as we come to the end of this orientation and induction program, it is my privilege <coughs> to extend our warm gratitude and vote of thanks to all those who have made this event possible. First and foremost, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude and thanks to our distinguished <coughs> chairman, Dr. Haji U.K. Monu sir, whose vision and leadership has been a driving force behind our institution. Thank you, sir. Our director, Mr. Abdul Rahman sir, he has been instrumental in shaping the, this direction of this program. Thank you very much, sir. We also immensely grateful to our esteemed dean, Dr. Ratnakar U.P. sir, whose commitment to the academic excellence has set a standard of our post-graduation curriculum. Thank you, sir. Dr. Mohammed Ismail M. Chajmadi, sir, 
chairman of uh, Kanachur Health Science Advisory Council and Dr. Venkat Prabhu sir, member of Kanachur Health Science Advisory Committee Council. Thank you very much sir. They have played a pivotal role in induction of this orient orientation program. Your expertise and mentorship have greatly enriched the experience of our new postgraduate students. Thank you, sir. Special mention goes to our uh, head of the Department of Medicine and chairman, uh, chairperson of uh, post-graduation curriculum council, Dr. Devdas Rai, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Heartfelt thanks to our medical superintendent, Harish Shetty, sir, and Rowan Morris, sir. Thanks to our Deputy Medical Superintendent Sir, Dr. Shah Nawaz Sir. I would uh, like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our IT department who has uh, supported this program and helped in a smooth organization of this program. Thank you very much. Thanks to our print and electronic uh, media for covering this program. Thanks to the, our uh, student cell coordinator, Mr. Nizam, and his team, account section, Dr. Daksh, Mr. Dakshani, Jala from the academic cell, Sarita, Sharmila, Vittal, and Asgar, who have provided a valuable contribution to this program. And uh, lastly, I would like to thank our uh, housekeeping team for maintaining a clean and comfortable environment for this program. And last but not the least, a big thanks to all the faculty members, postgraduate students for being a part of this program.